Hi guys, so today we're gonna kick off some festive holiday magic with our final Funko Advent Calendar. I did already unbox the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar as well as the Dragon Ball Z Advent Calendar on the channel if you guys wanna go ahead and check those out. But I did do an unboxing earlier in the year on the Harry Potter mystery ones that came out, the Professors series uh, at Walmart. And at the beginning I said if I got a certain amount of likes. And I have decided that if this video gets 50 likes, I will go ahead and buy the Harry Potter Funko Pop Advent Calendar for 2020 that I would order the Harry Potter Funko Advent Calendar to unbox on the channel. And you guys absolutely crushed it. And this did really well last year. I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed my unboxing last year, so of course I wanted to do it again this year. I did get this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if any of you guys are interested in picking it up for yourself. We're gonna open this bad boy and I'm super excited about it. I just watched some other advent calendar videos and like what people were getting for advent calendars this year and some of them are not the best. So I do have to say the Dragon Ball Z advent calendar, spoiler alert, was very underwhelming. Um, even though I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z, it was a little disappointing and I'm really hoping that this one is a lot more variety. Is that just stairs? Oh, with the pictures. Okay, it's like really hard to see what this is, but it's the staircase with all of the moving portraits and everything that's in Hogwarts. And there's some cute little like garland Christmassy goodies on there. Got a little stone flooring and then the numbers are in front of snowflakes. So that's what the inside of the box looks like. I guess we're just gonna pop right into it and see what we get. I'm super excited. Of course, day one is going to be Harry Potter. Come on, Harry. He's gonna stay over there. I'm not getting up. <laughs> that just flew so far. You guys will see what that looks like. Just moving right along, like, Great start. Great start. Day two. Oh my gosh, okay, it's Ron and his little knit hat. And he's got his scarf with his initial on it and he's holding a little package. And he's so cute. The detail on the uh, figures this year is insane. And I love this one. I think this is a lot better than last year's Harry Potter advent calendar where a lot of them had the same body mold was a little disappointing. So I'm hoping we get more of a variety this year. I'm thinking that the Harry that just flew across the floor is this, this Harry right here. We didn't really miss anything. <gasps> I was gonna say, the one thing that I really, really wish was in last year's advent calendar was Hedwig or any of the magical creatures, like a fox would have been so cool or a buck beak. And it's flocked? Oh my gosh, look at how small! Oh my god, and it's a fuzzy! It is kind of weird because the back of the head has the information on it and it's not flocked there. It's a little bit weird. I don't know about that. But honestly, love Hedwig. Oh my god. This is day number four and it's Hermione. I like that they spiced it up and they kind of split up the golden trio a little bit by throwing in Hedwig because iconic, honestly. 
So this is the classic Hermione holiday pop that came out this year. And she's wearing her little uh, t-shirt with the sweater underneath, and then she's just holding a little present. Lots of detail again in these little figures. I really like her hair. Day number five. A Dumbledore. So cute. Oh my god, stop. Is this him holding a baby Harry. This one is so cute. The glasses actually have a clear plastic uh, for the lenses, which is great. Mine does have a lot of paint flaws. Um, he's got some like purple paint going on in his beard, which is kind of sad. The baby is so cute. It's kind of weird proportion wise though. It looks like it's just his top half. Like this isn't his full body because his feet would just be, I don't know, so much better than last year's already. We are done with the first week and we have Dobby. Heck yes. Heck yes. Beautiful. I also wonder if we're going to get a Luna in this one. Little Dobby with a sock. Harry Potter gave Dobby a sock and now Dobby is a free elf. The first six days, success. I really wish I had that Harry, but I don't. To the next and we have Fred Fred Weasley how much y'all want to bet that the next day is going to be George I love them though because they're in their sweaters <laughs> so he has the F for Fred let's just if this one isn't Fred or if this one isn't George which it's not George, so we're gonna pop it back in there and forget that that happened, but this probably means that we're gonna get George at some point, right, right, right? Yes, right. Number eight, I could not tell what this was. All right, we already got two magical creatures. I mean, definitely it's a dog and an owl, but you know, you know, you know, you know. And this one is so cute because I have the hut, Hagrid's hut with him. Oh my god, it's so cute! Just stop it! Day number nine. Oh! We got a little overlap. A little, oh. Oh, I thought it was another, like, owl, and I was going to be like, oh, but it's Snape, I think. Oh, I am so sorry, Snape. I did not mean to disrespect you like that, but we have Snape. I also thought that he had really long hair, <laughs> but it's a cloak. <laughs> so, number 10. We still haven't gotten George. What happened to George? George though because honestly where is he we don't know oh my god look at how big this bag is what do we got what do we got professor McGonagall I love the green like and her lashes look snatched I think the ones are wrinkles, but... Alright, day 12. Is it gonna be George? I think it is. No, it's... Harry. Oh my god, his feet! <laughs> his feet are so big! Oh my god! What in proportion? That's not it! That's not it, honey! Those feet, though! I don't think I've had this much fun with an admin calendar. 
since I've ever done advent calendars, which was like last year, but day 13. Another Dumbledore. How come we have not gotten George? We should have gotten George by now. I want him to go with my friend. Very curious about what day 24 is going to end up being. So we have the Dumbledore. The classic Dumbledore in the purple. I don't think this is the same as last year's, but I'm not sure. I hope it's not. It could be, though. Another note is that the glasses don't have the clear plastic. Let's, let's keep this thing going here. Day 14. And we got our first Draco Malfoy. Oh my god, he's even got a little Slytherin crest, obviously, on his robe. And you can see his tie really small up at the top. I love the details on these. I love them a lot more than last year's. This one, he's at least in his, um, like, school uniform. And he has a little teensy tiny Slytherin crest, which it does, in fact, say Slytherin. Super small. Like, the detail is there. It is there. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We don't know. Huh? Okay, I've seen this pop. I haven't... I don't really buy Harry Potter pops that much. I like the pocket pops, but I don't really buy the big pops because there's just so many and I don't want to collect them all. But this one is one that I was always like kind of, you know interested in. I just obviously never bought it. But it's Hermione as a cat. <laughs> uh, the detail that's been translated to how small this figure is though is very 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 on point with the big one. Um, I have seen it in stores quite often and it's got a lot of the same detailing in it. It's so weird to see it like out of box though and like look at the back of her hair. It's just and she does have her little tail. That was appropriate. I think that was a nice favorite number. Cool. Day 16. There she is. We've got Jenny Weasley. There she is. There she is. And she's in her classic school uniform as well. The classic Gryffindor sweater and skirt combo. Day number 17. Still have yet to get George. <gasps> and something else that I really wish was in last year's, but I understand because it was technically set at a time before Luna's character was introduced. Um, so it made sense, but we got Luna Lovegood, and it is the classic Luna Lovegood. So she's holding her book, she's got her cherry, not cherry, her strawberry earrings on. She's wearing her classic outfit, she's got her spectacles on. Her hair is in a ponytail. She's looking great. She is so cute. This is probably my favorite character that we have pulled. Absolutely love. This is great. If we get a Thestrial, I don't know if I'm going to be necessarily into that. Happy that she's in this calendar. I feel like they listened to our cries. They heard our cries. They heard our pain from last year. This is day 18. We got Georgie boy! George has arrived! Oh my goodness, my Fred's like body is like kind of broken a little bit. Oh my gosh, Fred is also like a different skin color. He's more of like a peachy skin color and George is looking a little, a little pale. And he's like broken. What is going on? Oh, they both have that defect. Huh? I mean, they're the same exact mold, like their hair is exactly the same in everything, just their skin color's different, which is kind of weird. Day number 19. Oh my goodness, what is this? Like, why is this so big? I think 
this is Neville Longbottom, but I'm not 100% sure. This is the first one. You know what, guys? It took us 19, though, for me to get a little confused. And he's holding the Book of Monsters, which is great. Love it. So much little detail there. You got the little tongue sticking out, and you got the teeth. I like the detail with the book. What did I say at the beginning of this advent calendar? I wanted a Rising from the flame, and he is blocked. This is, they're being too nice. They're being too nice this year because we got Fox here. We have a Hedwig. We have Crookshanks. And we have Fang somewhere. Here he is. This is all that I've ever wanted. I'm really curious to see what day 24 is going to be, but day 21. It is a person. Can't see he. Okay, it's Ron in his sweater. All right, figured that was going to happen. So we're probably going to get Harry in his sweater. Oh, Hagrid. Okay, we haven't gotten Hagrid yet. He's on the front of the box. Okay, all right, so we got Hagrid with the tree. I love the Hagrid Pocket Pops. I love the one from last year because of just the size. It's like the perfect size. Nice figure nonetheless. We all love Hagrid in this house. Day 23. You guys give me a buck beak. Oh, it's another Dumbledore. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, huh? Oh, it's Dumbledore in his like pajamas. See this one, his, his glasses have the clear plastic, like the first one that we saw. So that purple one has to be a repeat from last year. Another Dumbledore, three Dumbledores. Honestly shocked that we have more Dumbledores then we do Harry. Unless the day 24 is gonna be Harry in his sweater, but that's a little underwhelming. Like, they should have put Fox as day 24, because that would have been like, you know? It is Harry in his sweater. Don't know about the numerical order of this calendar, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from saying that this is, without a doubt, the best advent calendar that was put out this year and you want to know why first of all there's no actual duplicate figures okay we didn't get two headwigs one that was flocked and one that wasn't flocked we didn't have a bunch of repeat body molds i mean i guess you could say you know this Harry, this Ron, and Fred and George are all the same. But the sweater colors are different. The pants are different. This was fantastic. And we got a Fang and a Crookshake? Like, come on! Would recommend 20 billion times over that if you guys can only get one Funko Avon calendar, to get this one. I know it's a little bit later in the season and you may not need an advent calendar and I still do want one. These make great Christmas presents too. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys got any of the Funko Pop advent calendars this year. Again, I did already unbox the number four Christmas and the Dragon Ball Z Christmas calendars. I also did unbox the spooky 13 day calendar as well from Funko. But let me know down below which one was your favorite and if you picked any of them up or if you're gonna pick one up. And also, let me know what your favorite day was, like which character just stomped the competition and was the character from this whole calendar. I'm gonna go pick up that Harry that flew across my office, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.